that the last three weeks, almost a month, hundreds and thousands and millions of people in Colombia, particularly farmers, peasants, small producers from the countryside, uh, have been protesting against the free trade agreement with the United States. We got 50,000 soldiers out in the streets. We have 17 people killed, many disappeared, uh, hundreds uh, in prison, and over 500 people with uh, mutilations, actually. So it's been a very gruesome response. My mom is from Colombia, and my dad is from Ireland. And we're out in solidarity, solidarity for the campesinos of Colombia or the farmers of Colombia. There's a free trade agreement with the North Americans, that's the USA, which is swamping the country with cheap subsidized rice and potato import. The only living they have is on the land, is putting them out of their living. So I'm here to support them. Colombia, as you may know, is an agrarian country, basically. So most of our people depends on, on the production of uh, agrarian products. And the FDA basically has brought to them misery and has brought to them repression because uh, the government is trying to force people to accept an agreement that is going to destroy their lives. I came to support this protest this evening because I work with women in Uganda who are struggling to hold on to their land. I would like to see the whole land movement globalized so that the workers of the world understand that we are all struggling for the same thing. We are all struggling for that we hold on to our land. Even in Ireland we need to hold on to our small farms also and eat our own food. We're here to show solidarity with campesinos and small farmers in Colombia as they struggle against the free trade agreement and struggle for life with dignity. Um, we're here to show solidarity with the brave women and men in the streets who are facing down incredible state repression and to say that they're not alone. Estamos aquí nosotros en solidaridad con el movimiento agrario en Colombia. Viva el paro.